Hey guys, welcome back to program and today in this episode, we're going to talk about what amount of RAM do you need in your laptop or PC for doing programming. So there have been some questions around YouTube right now on our community channel. So into the comment section, there have been a lot of questions asking us is 8 gigabytes of RAM or 16 gigabytes of RAM or 32 gigabytes of RAM. What is enough for doing programming? So in this video, we'll be breaking down everything just for you to let you know that what amount of ram what should you go along with to do programming so guys there are two contexts to this firstly if you're having a machine that is windows machine so for that the ram capacity will differ and if you have a mac so there also it will differ so firstly we'll be talking about windows and then we'll move on to mac os so firstly let's start with the windows machine so nowadays in 2022 if you are going to do programming so 8 gigabytes of ram or 16 gigabytes of ram what should you choose if you're just a beginner to learn programming so for you 8 gigabytes of ram will do much of the task so for you 8 gigabytes of ram will not be inefficient it will give you a good performance for doing programming so in that you can easily learn web development you can go along learning some general purpose programming languages like java c c plus plus python or even some other bits of android programming but this is not the best version of ram what you can get it this is just recommended for the beginners around there most of you have been getting confused that 8 gigabytes of ram will be really good but this is just for beginners around i'm talking for a beginner programmer so if you're just a beginner and you're trying to learn something so for you a laptop or a machine with 8 gigabytes of ram will be pretty much efficient enough but if you go below that so there would be a lot of lack into the efficiency and performance and that is something that i don't recommend to you so at least the most minimum basic ram that you should have in your laptop or pc is 8 gigabytes in 2022 if you're working on some projects so for that moment of time you require to have at least 16 gigabytes of ram and that will be the least minimum ram if you're working on android studio or any other ide so at that moment of time you should have 16 gigabytes of ram so that is recommended because if you will be using virtual machines if you'll be using emulators so at that moment of time these virtual machines and emulators do consume a lot of ram and that is the reason I would recommend you to go along with 16 gigabytes of RAM because that will allow you to have some more space for much more better performance and efficiency. So this is in concern about the Windows machine right now. And if it, even if you just go along having more RAM than 16 gigabytes, that will be much more efficient. But that is something that I don't recommend right now in 2022 because 16 gigabytes of RAM will be much more pre pretty efficient enough for doing any kind of a task and if you only have some more projects that consume a lot of RAM so that is somewhere you need to be considering to upgrade your RAM as well to 32 gigabytes or even after that so let's get to the Mac OS now so this has been the complete overview about Windows now Mac OS if we consider Mac OS the Apple Silicon MacBooks so these do pretty much a good job at to the just entry level of machines so even if you're just taking the mac mini or the macbook air with 8 gigabytes of ram and 256 gigabytes of ssd so at that moment also you can get a much more better performance so guys there's complete different scenario happening into the macbooks and the macs that are coming with the apple silicon processor so now if you just consider the entry level macs even so they are coming with the 8 gigabytes of ram and these are performing really good and really efficient for doing any kind of programming we have even tested out the macbook air that comes along just with 8 gigabytes of ram and 256 gigabytes of ssd so that machine is even powerful for doing any kind of a programming even machine learning data science or even if you just go along having some projects for android development or for ios so all kind of developments can be done in that entry level of machine so that is doing something a real good job over there and we can easily say that 16 gigabytes of ram into a windows laptop is equivalent to 8 gigabytes of ram into the new macs that come with the apple silicon processor so over here even if you just go along having 16 gigabytes of ram this is the macbook pro with the m1 pro processor and this machine comes with 16 gigabytes of ram and that performs really well and if you just want to have a look at to what kind of performance you can get we have already stress tested this you can just click up to a link at to the right hand side corner and you can have a look at to that video where we have tried to open a lot of programs a lot of tabs into chrome and it performed really well so guys we can 
perfectly say that if, if you're going with a mac os machine and if you upgrade to 16 gigabytes of ram that is the best case for doing programming into the new macs that are available right now so 16 gigabytes of ram will be really good into the new macs but even if you go along having 8 gigabytes of ram in the apple silicon macbooks or any of the macs that is available right now so that will be really good for you so the whole context over here is that if you're going with a windows machine go with at least 8 gigabytes of ram and try to upgrade that to 16 gigabytes for a better performance and so that it can last at least for three to four years of productivity and if you're going along having a mac so in that case 8 gigabytes will be pretty much efficient enough for all kind of programmers intermediate programmers either and if you're doing some projects onto android or ios or something other so it will perfectly suit that and if you want high performance if you want to make your mac sustain for a much more longer period of time so at that moment of time just try to upgrade that to 16 gigabytes of ram and you're just free of any other tension and stress so that is the complete case over here for the ram for programming and if you've got any more questions, please comment it down below. We'll be happy to read that and reply it to you. And if you liked the video, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Meet you next episode. Till then, goodbye.